there, costume lovers. So today I am all dolled up because we're going to do a little gem cosplay item. You know, the infamous silver and blue belt that everybody wears when they dress like gem. I'm going to show you how I made mine for under five bucks. So hold on to your electric guitars and your holograms because here we go. All right, so for this project, I went on a special trip to the thrift store in search of shiny silver, anything really that I could find. I didn't need a lot of it. I was making a belt. I ended up finding this bag of silver fabric that I had no idea what it was until I got home and opened it up and fingers crossed, ah, hallelujah, it worked. It was just the right amount of fabric and just the right amount of silvery shine. I also picked up this blue gift bag for 50 cents, which is super shiny and I think will be heavy enough to uh, do what I need it to do. And I picked up this belt. You're going to want to make sure this is not a belt that is going to have a hangover when you buckle it, so you're going to want something that clips and I just cut the bow off. The belt attaches with the little peg and hole system. Now you just want to make sure that whatever belt you get doesn't have one of those buckle systems that's going to leave a piece hanging over after you buckle it. So you're going to want something that clips and leaves a, um, and doesn't leave any extra. I also found this belt, which I was going to use, but then I was like, wait a minute, that's totally misfits. So I might hang on to that one instead. And also it was stretchy and I didn't want to use a stretch belt. Uh, for the project because I didn't know that, that would work very well. So then the next thing I did was grab my sketchbook and drew out this. Kind of just kind of sketched around until I found something that I liked and that looked like the photos that I had pulled up online. So um, once I did that, I traced it with some tracing paper. Lay out your belt and your pattern on your fabric and cut around it, making sure you leave enough room for seam allowance and also that you're doubling the fabric because you're going to want it on both sides of your belt, the front and the back. Next I sewed along the top edge and the bottom edge of my fabric. This left kind of a tube with a funky shape on the end and that's exactly what you want. I fed the belt through and then I cut a piece of cardstock slightly smaller than my shape and kind of rolling it up and finagling it in there, I used it as a strengthening piece to make the shape a little bit stiffer since it hung off the belt. So far, everything is looking really good. Next, I used my tracing paper to trace my design shapes off of my sketch. Then I used those pieces and cut them out of the blue bag. Then I used my glue gun and some tacky glue and glued them to the belt. Also, I had to cut a hole where the peg fastens into the belt and also around the peg in the fabric and then I used fabric glue to kind of reinforce those. You just want to make sure that the belt's still going to function once the uh, fabric is on there. Uh, next is going to be to make the tassels. This was actually kind of time consuming. I took a big strip of my fabric and I folded the edge over and sewed along there. Then carefully took my scissors and cut along the edge of that so that I basically ended up with a folded over piece of ribbon when I was done. I cut that into lengths of about 16 inches. I had to do this four times to get about 16 pieces of tassel. And then I one by one hot glued those babies to the belt. All in all, the whole thing came out pretty good. I ended up going back later and tightening up some of the edges by running another stitch around the top and the bottom. Um, but I think for $4.50, this belt was a success, and I plan to use it in some gem cosplay in the near future. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this. If there's any cosplay items you would like to see me try to make uh, from thrift store items on a budget, let me know what they are in the comments below. Also, if you click like on this video, it really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can keep up on all of our cosplay fun. Next up, we have a very awesome Batman cosplay piece um, for what I hear was one of the most popular costumes at Phoenix Comic Con this year. So if you were sick and tired of seeing this costume, I'm very sorry. But I think that we can do it for under five bucks and we're going to give it a shot. So. Tune in next time for that, and in the meantime, if anything fun comes up, I'll let you guys know with a video, and I'll see you guys next time. Have fun creating. Bye. If you like the makeup that I did on this episode, I will link to the Vintager Tacky tutorial that I used to do it.